Hey guys, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to create the slider or the carousel. Uh, so we need to go to get bootstrap. And we're just going to get some starter code. If we go to JavaScript and carousel. And I'm just going to grab this whole thing. I think that's what we need. Uh, actually, well, this is good. Okay, so we're going to go. What is this div? I think this div is the container. Yeah. So I'm, I'm actually going to get rid of this these section tags. And we want to stay within the container, so we're going to go right under the nav. Paste this in. Okay, let me just uh, indent it a little bit. All right, let's change the ID to my carousel. I'm going to get rid of this, these indicators. So just delete those. And then we have our wrapper, which is called carousel inner. We can keep that. We don't need this roll list box. And in the carousel inner div, we're going to have our items. Okay, so this is one item. Let's see, it ends right there. And let me just space that out. So we have div class item, and this is going to be the active one, which means this will be the first slide uh, for the image. We want this to point to our image folder and then slide one dot JPEG. And I guess for the alt, we'll just say slide one. All right. And for the caption, we're going to have, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to have a heading, an H4, and this will say slide story one. And uh, let's make that a link as well. And that's just going to go to the post page. Okay, and then under that, we're going to have a paragraph of, I guess, intro text. So I'm just going to paste that in, just a uh, paragraph tag with some text. And that's really it for the item. Um, Let's just mark this so we know where the, the item ends. All right, and then I'll just I'll just get rid of this and we'll copy. Get rid of that. All right, and then I'm just going to copy this item. And we want four more of these. All right, and now we can just change Actually, we want to we want to get rid of the active, except for the first one. All right, and we'll go ahead and change the image name and the alt and the um, heading. Okay, this one will be three. Slide three. Slide four dot JPEG. Four. And five. All right. And I just want to change the whoop, let me fix that link. I just want to change up the text a little bit. Uh, let's see. I'll take that and put that here. 
and I mean it really doesn't matter I just do this just because I'm a little OCD with this I don't like every slide having the same exact content even if it is just sample content So that should be fine. So we'll save that, and I don't think that's going to look too pretty yet. All right, so that, that looks kind of horrible, but it's supposed to at this point. So now what we need to do is create our thumbnails, <coughs> or the thumbnail and the, the intro text, like you see here. All right, so let's see, we want to go. I want to break out of the carousel inner div, which I think is this. Yeah. So let's uh, just put a comment here so we know. And then we're just going to actually, what's this? Do we want this? No. Actually, yeah, we'll just leave that. So right after the carousel inner, we're going to create an unordered list and give it a class of list group. Uh, also, a class of slider list, and uh, we want it. We want it to be a, a four column div. So call MD four. Okay, so the list item is going to have a few things. We're going to have a uh, data target attribute. All right, and this is going to be equal to my carousel. And we want data slide two, and that's going to be set to zero. And for classes, we'll have list group item, and this is also going to be active because the tab that's active will have the, the gray background. <coughs> All right, and in this list item, we're going to have a few things. We're going to have our image, so image source is going to be in the image folder and it's going to be slide one dot jpeg uh, and we want to give that a class we want to give it the the bootstrap class of image thumbnail which will um, give it a border and rounded corners things like that and then we want our own class, which will be image dash slide. All right, so that is the image. And after that, we're going to have an H4, say slide story one. All right, and then after that, we'll have, what do we have, a paragraph. So I'm going to just paste the paragraph in. It's not very long, it's just some intro text. Feel free to use whatever text you like. All right, so that is our first slide. Or not the first slide, but the first item to, to be clicked on. So I'm going to copy the entire list item. <clears throat> and we're going to paste this in two, three, four, five, and then just change these up a little bit. Okay, they're all gonna go to my carousel. Okay, the data target. We're just gonna change up the image here, change the title. Uh, we should actually change the text too. So I'm gonna just paste in some more gibberish.
And that should be good for that. All right, so this is one, this is two, this is three. Four, and five. Okay, we want to get rid of the active class except for the first one. Okay, and I think that looks good. Actually, no, we want to change these data to uh, this data slide to whatever. So, zero, one, two, three, and four. So, you'll notice that e this attribute is one less than the actual slide. <clears throat> so, I think that's good. Let's take a look at this uh, controls. Let's see, let's, um, you know what, let's take these out for now. All right, and let's see what, what this div is. That's the my carousel div, okay. And then the other one is probably the container, 